How much do you really know about what cosmetic brand you were using? Do you just pick the next, next best thing or do you do research? If you are looking to invest in a new skincare routine but the options seem so broad, turn to Dove for a solution. I am here today to talk to you about two of the largest skin and cosmetic care companies in the world, Dove and Suave. Dove was founded in 1957 in the United States of America by William Heskey Lever and his brother. The Lever brothers earned attention by marketing the first soap that was less drying and more moisturizing to the skin, which became the biggest focal point of their company. More than 60 years later, Dove is now the world's top cleansing brand because of their research and technology for making the best products. Dove versus the rest. Dove is the number one skin care company dermatologists recommend one of the largest cosmetic and skincare companies in the world. The dermatologists recommend Dove because it's a natural moisturizer. Why? Because of its six simple ingredients. Dove's head dermatologist, Dr. Mona Gorhera, wants you to step away from the bar of soap. She says, I truly wish people would stop using soap. The harsh surfacants in soap strip the skin barriers, leaving behind a tight, itchy, irritating feeling. Stick with gentle cleansers that nourish and ensure skin health, which Dove makes a really big effort to do. Dove ingredients. Dove makes an effort to be transparent with their products. The company's effort for an easy access to ingredient list is noted on their website. These six incredible ingredients to boost your shower routine include glycinate, stearic acid, glycine soja, which is soybean oil, amino acids, sodium, laurel, and glycerin. Now these six simple ingredients may not seem simple to you because you may not know what they mean, which is good because Dove provides a short explanation for each under their um, list. So uh, glycinate helps skin retain its moisturizing fat, which, is, uh, which are lipids. And this targets abnormally dry to slightly dry skin. Um, stearic acid is a natural lipid found already in your skin and it helps keep moisture levels balanced. So your skin already has it and most moisturizers and um, other products that companies use can actually strip away this uh, stearic acid from your skin while Dove adds it to their products to replenish the stearic acid already found in your skin. Uh, glycine soja, which is soybean oil, once again, uh, gently washes away the dead skin and helps skin look healthy while soothing damaged skin. It's known for naturally bringing out a healthy glow and the natural color in your skin. Amino acids work really well with all of the other ingredients in the products. Um, and they really work well to replenish the skin. Amino acids are the monomers or the building blocks of proteins and they're very necessary for keeping our skin and our bodies very healthy. Um, sodium laurel is an ingredient to help keep your skin clean with minimal irritation. So it's yet again, another effort to help mo um, moisturize and not irritate your skin. And lastly, glycerin is a hydrating humectant and it attaches and binds the water in your skin while helping keep your skin soft. So all of the natural water that you already have in your skin, basically just bringing it to the surface um, and it helps keep your skin moisturized and happy. Testing Dove soap on animals. Dove created a policy that prohibits animal testing worldwide and shuts down any requests to use Dove products to test on animals any of the world, anywhere in the world. Now, to ensure that this actually happens, they, Dove does not sell to any countries that animal testing is required. Um, an example of a place that animal testing was required is China. Dove's movement originated in the mid-1980s when they stopped testing and commissioned others to test on animals. Dove also refused to use any ingredients that have been tested on animals since 2010. So any new um, ingredient out there that is being used in other products around the world, but has been tested on animals, they will refuse to use. Um, Dove also is certified by uh, PETA to permanently end animal testing. 
So they don't test on their animals, they use real live people to give feedback on their products. What is PETA? PETA stands for the People of Ethical Treatment of Animals. Um, PETA is the world's largest animal rights association that supports making the world a more compassionate place for animals. PETA was founded in March 22nd, 2000, um, excuse me, 1980 and quickly became partners with major corporations like Dove. The founders are Ingrid Newkirk and Alex Pacheco. Dove was actually one of their first companies that they worked with. Um, a list of the Dove products are deodorants, lotions, body wash, hand wash, hand sanitizers, bath bombs, shampoo, conditioner, heat protectant spray, rehydrating mist, scalp treatment, styling gel, perfume, detangler, shaving cream, bubble bath, and Dove also has an entire line of project products for babies, which is very important because as we all know, um, baby skin is very, very sensitive and can't handle the um, products that we use every day in our showers and daily life. Um, Dove retail costs and company funds. Dove products can cost anywhere between $4 to $20, depending on the item, and it can be bought at big name stores such as Walmart, Walgreens, Target, and CVS Pharmacy. Dove's income supports movements such as care for the planet, like climate change, ending um, systemic racism, suicide awareness, and supporting frontline workers due to COVID-19. They really make an effort to take some of their money and bring it elsewhere because they have the um, privilege to do that. Suave background. Suave was started in 1937 by national mineral company in the United States as a hair company. So they just started off as shampoo and conditioners in the beginning. So I was later bought by Helen Curtis Industries Incorporated in 1970 and expanded company, expanded the company to be more than hair care. So this is where they introduced deodorants, body washes, etc. So I was another big name cosmetic company in the world still to this day. Suave versus its competitors. Suave's lotion is the only Suave product recommended by dermatologists in the United States. Um, even then, it is, derm it is dermatologist recommended for its lotion, but it is actually below Dove's lotion, um, which is dermatologist recommended. Suave ingredients. Suave's website does not have a page for ingredients used for any products, but are however, listed on bottles and boxes because this is a requirement. So on the back of the bottle, um, each or box, there is a box filled with ingredient lists, which include water, sodium lauryl sulfate, ammonium chloride, cocamide, mia, fragrance, uh, which perfume, algae extract, glycerin, citric acid, PPG9, testrodium, Eta, propylene, glycol, tocopyrrol, acetate, um, vitamin E acetate, methyl chloroisolazinone, uh, blue one CL42090, and red 33 CL17200. Suave does not give any explanations to this, which is a problem because for people like myself, I look at this like a foreign language. Um, and their website has nowhere near anything like um, Dove does where you can actually look up ingredients and see a full list. Um, it's only on the back of the bottle because it, it is required. Animal testing with Suave. Not long ago, Suave still tested the safety and effectiveness of their products on animals. Finally, Suave's parent company, Unilever, made a vow to stop testing products on animals 30 years ago. This was after Dove made their vow to stop. Suave is made in the United States, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, and Canada. It is known for it is unknown if Suave enforces countries to make their their products follow these guidelines. So as Dove um, if they don't sell to anywhere that it is required, as I said, to test on animals, it is uncertain if Suave 
is strict with that or if the countries that they are made in um, just because they're in a different country means that they can have different guidelines. We don't know if they enforce non-animal testing. Swab is, however, certified cruelty-free by uh, PETA. Swab product line is a little bit less intense than Dove's is. So they have shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, scalp oil, body wash, hand soap, deodorant, hairspray, and bath bombs. Um, Suave's retail, retail prices and company funds. Suave's main focus is to make quality products that do not cost a fortune. Yes, that is their major thing. Um, Dove's is more along the lines of moisturizing and hydrating your skin without tearing and ripping it apart, whereas Dove, want, I mean Suave, wants to make quality products that don't cost a lot. Suave products range from $199 to $20. SAV has been working to help donate to frontline workers in their Not All Heroes Wear Capes campaign. This is again a COVID-19, which is fairly recent. I did not find any other corporations or movements that uh, SWAV works with. In conclusion, Dove is superior for many reasons. The entire company is dermatologist recommended. They have tons of dermatologists on their team, such as their main dermatologist, Dr. Mona Gohera. Their products use simple and few ingredients to leave your skin moisturized and nourished. Their website is very easy to handle. Um, it very clearly states what is in their products and gives an explanation underneath. Um, unlike Suave, where they have a list of lots of really big words and you could easily be allergic to something that you don't know because the word is so big, you don't understand it. Work, um, Dove works very hard to ensure no animal cruelty is used. They go above and beyond to not sell to um, countries that it, it is required, and they probably lose a lot of money for that, but they still work very hard to make sure that there's no animal cruelty. They have a very wide variety of products. Each product under deodorant, of course, there's like 20 um, different products underneath that, and it could be you can have a skin wash for if you have very oily skin or very dry skin. There's a really big range. Um, and it is around the same price as Suave and most or some of their money goes to many movements that may mean something to you. So thank you for listening and I hope that you choose Dove next time you try to invest in a skincare routine.